this. No, too much. All right, who's good potatoes? Spin leak here with a little new series. Um, I'm thinking of what to call it. Don't really know. But basically, I'm going to talk about a couple of games uh, over the course of this, and I'm going to talk about one thing I would add to it. You know, uh, these aren't actual additions or anything. This is just something that would be nice to have in the game. Uh, first episode, gonna do something small, gonna do something easy. Let's just talk about Pokemon Go. Fuck it, we've all been playing it, uh, especially with the new update. They had a lot of cool things. Um, gyms are now Pokestops, there are more Pokestops. Uh, sponsor more frequent, they added uh, the entire Johto region. Uh, badges, evolving, hatching, all of its good stuff. Um, one thing I do want to point out though is that uh, this has been increasing the amount of things you can capture and your limited space is getting a lot tired and it's hard to find things that you want. There's a lot of new items in the game that help for evolution. Uh, the Pokedex is a bit bigger and battles have gotten a little bit more complex, but hey man, that's just part of the fun. Um, now, looking at all the stuff that they added, it's pretty sweet. You know, I've been going crazy with it. I'm pretty sure some of you have too. Uh, but one thing I would like to see change in the game, and you know, this is never going to happen, uh, but it's just a thought, you know, think about this, think about how much easier it would make things. Um, what if the careers Pokemon Go went ahead and added an extra menu? Just one small detail. Like I said, with the increasing amount of Pokemon, eventually it's going to be difficult to find the one that you want in your group. I have roughly 76 right now, and it is difficult to find out, like, just find who I'm looking for. Um, instead of giving us a search option to, like, look at the Pokemon, It'd be nice if whenever you're running around evolving, hatching your eggs and catching just to kind of get those candies, if they had a menu that displayed, you know, the Pokemon's name and next to it, just the amount of candies you have. It doesn't have to be for everything in there. It can just be like, these are for this specific type, these are for this specific type, this is for here. And it doesn't go past what you've already caught. That way, you don't have to stress about the things that you don't have and have to look at a, you know, a zero. Unless, you know, you use up all your candies, evolving something or leveling it up or whatever. That small detail would add so much more depth to the game. It'd make things a lot smoother. As opposed to going through and like clicking on everything in my inventory, trying to find the one that I was gonna evolve, you know, maybe I'm busy and I glance, I saw that I had enough candies to evolve something or level something up, and I went, you know, I'll take care of this whenever I get home because I'm kind of at work right now, or I'm kind of, you know, down the road getting something, I don't wanna stop and do this. But, and later I go and I try to take care of it and can't find what I'm looking for. I'm just clicking on everything, seeing how few candies I have for them that blend menu would make a big difference. Um, you guys go ahead and throw in something that you'd like to add to the game or that you think would possibly make a big difference. Uh, you know, it could be something like what I said, you know, an extra menu, or it could be an item that, you know, gives you another two feet in the, you know, perimeter search to kind of help you, you know, pick stuff up. Um, but yeah, no, that's all for this. I think next time around I'm going to be doing Overwatch. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys in the next video.